Hey guys, what is going on? Street Trading here with another trade lesson video for everybody looking at a 15 minute chart of JWN Nordstrom Incorporated Consumer Cyclical Sector. Let's get right into it. So uh, those those in that uh, that trade live in the States uh, should know this company been around for a very, very long time. Department store, typical department store for shopping centers. Clearly, that lifestyle, that you know, way of buying these uh, this type of uh, apparel is uh, shifting. So, you know, these shopping centers, these malls, are uh, becoming uh, obsolete. I mean, they're obviously still around. These guys are still around. They're like, you know, they're not like uh, going to be going anywhere uh, in the near future. But the physical stores, the brick and mortars, are definitely becoming quite. Uh, empty inside uh, I don't know the last time you guys been in one but uh, it's been a while for us but uh, last time we were there we were pretty much it was us and the people that work there um, they're obviously trying to shift uh, their sales onto obviously online but uh, they're competing with you know everybody else and uh, that being said it, this is just a matter of time uh, just a matter of time so these run-ups obviously you know we're optimism from uh, the economy opening up um, and obviously the boys, you know, pushing price and retail, hopping on board, driving it. And anyway, they had the earnings, uh, after, after the market closed yesterday, we, uh, we saw an opportunity to get involved. We had this on our, uh, uh, trade ideas video going into pre-market. It was just a clean, clean setup. Obviously, uh, it was showing some, uh, some signs going into the session, um, it's been obviously under some pretty significant selling pressure. Um, it had some characteristics on uh, Monday session that uh, gave us an opportunity to, you know, kind of get involved. It was tr it was pretty much stuck trade be trade above the uh, right above view app, um, pretty much for the whole session, not the whole session, but a large part of the session on Monday. And uh, the, it was just a battle. They were just obviously boys were were, were chopping up the the market participants um, positioning, and you see what happened. Obviously, going into earnings, uh, it's not advisable to hold. Uh, we had a strong strong indication that this thing was going to dump out, but we just that's just not it was just not at all the way we trade. It's a rule of ours. We do not hold through earnings. Um, you know, you could be right. We would have been completely right. I and mean, we ended up you know having a nice chunk. Uh, into the close, but uh, we covered into the close, and uh, the reason being is because we just don't hold uh, through earnings. Obviously, you know we would have been uh, paid very, very, very nicely if we would have held, should, would have, could have. But we trade our rules, guys. We're not gamblers, so we we leave that we leave that for the degenerates. Anyway, let's get into how we trade this thing, why we trade this thing, where we trade this thing, where we get involved, and all that good stuff. Uh, Nordstrom came down to pretty key level of pivot. You guys can see there's no. Uh, it's not rocket science where these guys took it uh, after hours, and you see this bounce. Anyway, let's get uh, let's get down to business, talk levels, talk how we trade this thing. All right, all right, hold on. 